Hey there designers, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create the stunning 3D glass icons inside of Figma. Let's dive right in and get started. First, we need a base icon to work with. I have this message icon ready to go and you can get it from the community file down below. Feel free to grab any icon from online repositories like Flat Icon, Font Awesome or Google's material icons. I will link a few down below. If you're feeling extra adventurous, you can always create your own icon using Figma's vector options. Right, once you have our icon ready, create a new frame. I will keep it at 48 by 48. And let's change the background color to something dark. We'll also add a couple of layout grids. Change the first grid to columns. Set the count to 2. Type to center. Width to 14. Cut a size to 0 and change the color opacity to 50%. Now change the other grid to rows and apply all of the same values. What we have just done is create a grid that will help us keep all our icons consistent. Place our message icon inside the frame and create a duplicate of it. Flip the duplicate vector so they overlap onto each other. Select the top one and give it a very light fill color. I'll add a blue and decrease the opacity to 50%. Next, add a stroke to this layer and change the size of the stroke to 0.1. We can change the stroke to a gradient, add a new stop using the plus button and change all of the stops to a white color. We can also change the middle stop to 0% opacity. Now we can change the gradient and adjust it until it looks just perfect. We can also add a background blur to this layer and set the amount to 10. Right, we're getting somewhere now. Let's move on to the background layer, but before that, let's turn off all of these grids. We can hit shift apostrophe to turn off the pixel grid that is there in Figma and we can manually turn off the layout grids as well that we had set earlier. Now select the background layer and add a dark blue gradient. Tweak it around till you get it just perfect. We can also adjust the colors of a top layer to make sure that we get a coherent set of colors going. Now add a stroke the same way we did for the top layer. Since this is a message icon, let's add a couple of message lines using rectangles. You're welcome to place them according to your liking. To finish, let's add a shadow. You can always add a shadow using the drop shadow effect, but I prefer using the layer blur effect. Let's add an ellipse and make it a little smaller. Let's give it a fill color and add a layer blur effect and increase the amount. Reduce the fill opacity to make it look just right. Adjust all your layers till you have an icon that you love and that's it. You've just made a beautiful 3D glass icon. There's a community file down below with a bunch of these icons that you can use for free. Thanks a ton for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more design insights. Until next time, happy designing.